Okay, this is an update to the stylized hair shader for Unreal Engine. Recently I've added a new effect that kind of makes this rainbow effect in the hair. So I'm just going to open this one up and show you how that works. Okay. Right, so you can see this kind of rainbow effect. Now it's based on the angle of the polys and also the camera direction. I'm just going to ramp it up so you can see it a bit better. So it's called rainbow amount. And there you can really see it. You can also pump some of that into emissive to make it really glow if you like that effect. And you can change the amount of times that it repeats. And you can also change the angle of it through this rainbow twister. Now it's just like a, a color effect. So if you go to a certain angle here, you change the brightness, it kind of twists the rainbow around. It's not a, it's not a kind of uh, thing you can really estimate other than just looking at it. But it's a nice effect. You can use the repeat to see it a little bit better which angle it's going at. So you might like something like that. And you can kind of shift it around there, but you can also shift it around with a rainbow repeat. So if I make this less like that, and then I'll take it out of emissive and I'll just have it in the, the rainbow amount. So it goes between the base color and the rainbow color, which is, um, also based on the base color. So you'll see that if you increase color here, it can change things a bit. Let's cancel that. I want that to stay kind of goldish. So it's good if you want just a little bit of that effect and it gives you, uh, it gives you a slightly different shine to things. Makes it look a little bit more metallic. Uh, let's just change the roughness, shininess. And you can see it kind of follows the shine a little bit as well, so it looks quite nice. So that's a new feature for the hair shader and I hope you find this useful. You can apply it to any of the existing materials you've created. It's just uh, these three extra parameters plus this rainbow twister parameter. And that's the update. Thanks for watching. Bye.